Dale, real quick, the other the other big item under old business was the comprehensive plan. We don't we don't have to beat it up too much. I think where we left that last time was Joe was going to start to put a skeleton together of a particular a, a potential RFP. Maybe talk to a couple of other boroughs and get recommendations from somebody that might be a a good vendor in that space. Any updates on that side of things? Yeah, I have an update. Uh, I did talk to the state. I do have a list of all. Uh, planners that have done work in the area. So uh, we have a good list of uh, who to go to for getting for proposals. I did start a draft RFP. I'm probably about a little over half done. So give me a couple more weeks and I should have that done. But uh, okay. at least know who to go to. And uh, when I have the draft done, I'll get it to everyone. I know Larry said that he'd help me just polish it up a little bit. Awesome. Yeah, I saw your go by, uh, what, three or four weeks ago. And if you want to share something even partway finished, uh, Joe, you know, please do. Uh, I don't mind looking at things when they're halfway complete or whatever. So, okay, sure uh, if thing. you're willing to share it, share it. I'll give you some comments. All right, I'll get you something very soon. Great. Any sense, Joe, for like ballpark costs on that? I think we estimated that at like thirty-five to fifty-five, but that was a kind of a shot in the dark. I I honestly don't know. I I'll be up front with you. Uh, the one I worked on. 10 years ago was a multi-municipal plan between Carnegie, Heidelberg, and Scott, and it was 102000 So, And that was over a period of years, was it not? It was about two years, and it also did updates to the zoning ordinance. So mm. the number may be skewed, but it was 102. But and that, did that, that had multi-municipal participation, so it wasn't paid for by one uh, borough or township, right? No, and that's what made it easy to get grant money for we ended up getting uh, DCD money and then money from local government academy. So if we do go multi-municipal, I, I already talked to the fellow at the state about getting grant money assistance to help with the comp plan. But he basically said, unless it wasn't, if it's multi-municipal, the odds of getting grant money are very good. If it's by ourselves, we're on low on the totem pole. Okay. So we, we sort of danced around that issue uh, at the last meeting and really didn't talk about it in any, any level of detail. I um, mean, there's a piece of me that thinks we need to really focus within the borough, but there's another piece of me that thinks, you know, that we're not really an island. So, I mean, we should reach out to a degree, uh, but that would involve us with Collier, St. Clair. Uh, South Fayette. Yeah, a little bit of South Fayette, and, but, uh, I'm not sure how interested any of them would be. Collier might be more interested in St. Clair, and I don't know that it would involve, you know, extensive pieces of their municipalities. Uh, but it probably couldn't hurt to at least ask the question about their level of interest. Uh, I don't know if we'd want to try to scope it before we did that or inquire about their level of interest first. Uh, you think about it, the biggest issue we've got, the flooding, we know where that originates. You know. uh, so uh, does it make sense to try to involve them in, in, in at least that piece of it? Mm. Uh, especially, if, especially if it greases the skids on the grant side of things, maybe it's a conversation that they're more willing to have. Yeah, may, well, it would grease the skids on the grant side for us. I'm not so sure they'd be interested in that. I think they would have other issues and concerns about what it meant to them, you know, from a long-term, I'll use the term liability, not so much in terms of mm. legal liability, but, you know, just liability for what's going on. Uh, so they might be a bit skittish, but I, I think, and I'd like to hear some discussion on this, and it, it, it can't hurt to ask the question. I, I would what? kind of would think that Collier would be a would make a good plan just because of our issues with the North Gateway. Right, the traffic right. issues are shared, and that would be a really nice transportation plan that we, we need to work multi municipally with. And we may need to focus strictly on transportation to make that piece of it. And so, in terms, you know, of a multi municipal thing, only that piece would be multi municipal, and the rest could be focused. I don't know how that works at the end of the day. Uh, but similar, similarly, we would have the same kind of a discussion with uh, St. Clair. Uh, transportation to a degree, uh, and obviously stormwater and flooding is more important. So there would be two clear issues there. 
Hey, if I might, uh, I'm sorry to speak out of turn, but Joe, uh, Dawn's talking about it having a task force meeting in the near future too. So we could bring it up probably there. Okay. Who was that, Joe? I'm the president of their commissioners, Don uh, Zabicki William. Who's commissioners? Uh, Colliers. Okay. I was just on the Upper St. Clair website this week, and their last comprehensive plan was established in 2015. So they just recently did it within the past five years. But I'm sure it'll be a while before they do something again. Well, you can bet that was community centric. Uh, they might Probably. be interested in looking at a couple of partial updates without doing a whole plan update. So, and Joe, I don't even know if that's, that would meet uh, the discussion of a joint plan or not, where you're only looking at partial elements. Uh, I, I would think it could be, uh, Larry, you may remember the Scott Township one when it was oh, yeah. with, with Heidelberg and Carnegie, Scott Township was only involved just to be the bridge between the two of us. Right. They only focused on Glendale. So it didn't even really look at the entire township. So I, that's you're right. That's a good point. And that resulted in that ski streetscape program. It turned out pretty nice. So, yeah, so uh, it can be done. A lot of money came through because of that plan. And uh, our whole focus wasn't the entire township. It just was that one ward just to. So I, I think bridge. the trick, Joe, is is when we talk to either St. Clair or or Collier is to talk to them about pieces that we think would interest them and that they could see that they could quote unquote benefit from. So I, I think that's going to be easier lift and car than it's going to be in St. Clair, but I still think we ought to give it a go. Yeah. And I'll working, yeah. sorry, Joe, I was going to say working backwards, like, uh, so in order to get something in front of the, budget folks on council when do we need to have that rfp out do you have an idea of how many weeks we need to issue that thing is it four weeks so we're talking beginning of september or what's what's thoughts on the timing of that i think it totally changes everything if it's a multi-municipal plan i think we work to see if our neighbors are interested if they're interested we go to the state see if we can get money it takes time to see if we get the grant you know if we do get the grant then we're follow their timeline so this may mm. push us a year but it, it's probably worth it because one you get the grant money two you know they kind of like coach you the entire time they have mm. planning consultants and then it solves these issues that are more than just bridgeville that, that's really our issues for more than just bridgeville anymore violent protesting, I would say. Criminal protesting. it may be worth going that route it's definitely worth it on the finance side no doubt about it yeah yeah, I don't know if we can get some kind of a budget number from any of those firms that you got the names of for just a feel for the uh, cost of a comprehensive plan, including the elements we've talked about. And, you know, again, look at this as a two or a three year process. And if we can get a budget, some kind of an estimate, you know, without a firm commitment, but something we can plan towards, maybe we can, you know, get something into the budget for next year. Again, it's it's not an obligation to spend, but it is a dollar amount to set aside that if we can get this thing moving quickly enough, uh, there will be some some ability to move it forward. For yeah. I don't know, Joe, if you think that, uh, I mean, uh, there's some firms that will be happy to give you a number. If you can talk to two or three of them and get, get some kind of a sense. Yeah. Uh, others will say, well, you know, they don't want to tell you much or they're afraid of committing or whatever, you know. Yeah, uh, I, I think I know a guy. I'll ask. Okay. Uh, you know, at least if we get, you know, some sort of idea for a placeholder to, right. to start, um, start the situation, start the plan moving forward, I think is kind of the way to go. We're going to be on the hook for something. So there is a budget commitment. The grant won't pay for all. Right. But, right. right. What was the percentage you got in that in Scott and in Heidelberg and I think back then it was 80 20. 80 percent. They paid 80 percent. We were up oh, 20 percent. Wow, so that's it, pretty good. It was yeah, it was real good. Mm. 
I don't know what it's like now. And then we were able to get local government academy grant to pick up our 20%. So it can be done, but you just have to give me some time. What you call leverage in the system. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's all about. It's how to get stuff done. So, okay, anything else regarding the comp plan? No. Okay.